There's some possible fallout today after a few rogue hockey fans stopped play action Friday night at the Van Andel Arena, and that may have cost the Griffins a win. News 8's Megan Bunchman joins us now with more on the story. Well, Rick, while the season just started for the Grand Rapids Griffins, what happened last Friday at home may mean big changes moving forward. Shot save, shot save, another one stopped. It was a fast three-minute finale for the Griffins as they came from behind during Friday night's game against the Cleveland Monsters. Oh, Hiroshi with a shot, rebound, loose out of front, score! score! But just as the game tied up with less than 30 seconds on the clock, nine rowdy fans threw their foam pucks onto the ice, forcing a delay of game penalty against the Griffs. Some knuckleheads want to throw pucks on, and then let's be honest, I mean, I love Grand Rapids fans, but there's about nine of them out there. And while Cleveland scored on the ensuing power play in OT, team officials say the action of a few may have cost Grand Rapids a three-game winning streak at home. And it just cost the Griffins a penalty. Now that's terrible. Fans, don't throw anything out of the ice. The foam pucks are part of the team's Throw for Dough fundraiser, which raised upwards of $34,000 last season to help the Griffs fund community programs at various schools, organizations, and nonprofits. But after Friday's game, the team released a statement that said, quote, our organization is actively looking at all possible changes for this promotion to ensure that this activity does not happen at a future game. We got people throwing pucks on the ice. Yeah, uh, don't do that, folks. Great. Several of the individuals involved were escorted out of the arena, and the organization said it has identified every owner of each puck thrown, and their actions will be addressed. Now, next up, the Griffs are headed to Cleveland to take on the Monsters once again. The puck drops Wednesday night. Emily.